What's up? I, I really wasn't going to do this, but I said, let me get it over with because a lot of people have been asking me about it, about the part two of the Bobby Brown story, which is basically the F. Whitney Houston story. Uh, Bobby lost a lot of people. He lost his parents. He lost, he lost uh, Whitney. He lost Bobby Christine. He went through a lot. But during that time, Bobby was on a spiral going down. Okay, and when he met his wife, the wife he's with now, this woman was confrontational with everyone in his family, confrontational with everyone that, Bob, that loved Bobby. She wanted to be in control. So when you look at the situation of Alicia, when she came into his life, it was supposed to be for the betterment of Bobby. But Bobby's sister and her do not get along. And basically, it's been her just being a manager of Bobby Brown. And this is very similar to the Easy e Tamika Wright situation. And how she ran Ruthless Records into the ground. Bobby feels like he's happiest with her. But she's done some things in managing his funds. And trying to bring Bobby back to the status where Bobby, you know, can maintain. And with him losing so much, when he's around her, you know, he's just like, whatever, yes, ma'am. You know, he's basically submissive and letting her you know be his you know partner in life because he just felt like he's lost too much to to fight another war so in this movie they're making it as if she was the one that did all these things but to make Whitney look the way she did like she was just crazy she was a villain and trying to act like they didn't know Whitney did coke until she was pregnant or something. It, it, it's like ridiculous. Whitney was doing drugs and Bobby was doing drugs and they were quite aware each other doing drugs. When he got up with Whitney, Eddie Murphy was the one that told him she gets high all the time. I can't deal with a chick that likes to do drugs and get high. I don't do this stuff. That's right up Bobby's alley. So Bobby went right in to talk to Whitney because he did that stuff. So she was aware. Bobby had been doing coke since his new addition days. How would she not know Bobby Brown was doing coke? Or doing drugs. And he just found out later on. That Whitney did. Whitney was doing coke for a long time. That's what made it crazy. I'm like. Like they made it a shock. That his mom found out Bobby was doing drugs. Bobby was selling drugs. <laughs> and on drugs. It was not unknown to her when they was in the projects before he made the very first album he did. He was on drugs. His mama telling him, you better get your life together because he in there doing coke. She coming in there with finding drugs on the, on the mirror, coke on the mirror everywhere. And she just like, he finna waste his life. His mom was quite aware Bobby Brown did drugs. So this is way before... Before he had the album and Mary Whitney and losing all the money. He ain't had no money then and he was doing drugs. So these stories are completely, completely screwed up. So now she's Bobby Brown's manager. And 
she started managing him like back in 08. And she used to work with like all these different stars like Magic Johnson, Macy Gray. So he was like, man, I needed this person to work with me. But she was, she is somebody who's like, okay, I can use what, you, you know, your fame and everything because you got a name. As long as you got a name, you still worth something. So they met. He made her his manager, and, and two years later, they were married. Well, I'm sorry. They were engaged, then they got married. So They got three kids together. So she already know this is where she's going to be. And she has total control over Bobby's finances and everything else. Did not like Bobby Christina. Christina Bobby Christina did not like her. And that was just it. And Bobby Christina was Whitney's baby. That was that was her baby. She looked just like Bobby, but that was Whitney's. That was Whitney's baby. That was her girl. And when she lost her mom, she just that was very painful and powerful for her. And the whole story is just a tragic, tragic story. But to say it's the Bobby Brown story, it's more like the Alicia story. Just making, you know, just making Whitney just look horrible. It's just, to me, it was disgusting. That part of it was just plainly disgusting. And I'm sad people had to sit through that and see that fall out the way it did. But anyhow, I've talked too much. I'm going to go ahead, get up out of here, and let you guys be. But that's my thoughts on the whole thing. I just thought it was pretty sketchy. Didn't like pretty much none of the story. I've seen the first part. I learned nothing really new in the story. So that's just basically it. I'm out.